It is better to limp along the right path than to walk strongly in the wrong direction. Just one of the many poignant quotes from St. Thomas Aquinas, we celebrate his feast day. On this 28th of January, he's a 13th century Dominican theologian, a doctor of the church. Good evening, I'm Brian Patrick, and Thomas Aquinas is also the patron of Catholic schools. During this Catholic Schools Week, Jason Calvi visits one innovative school that's become a model for others. The doors of many Catholic schools are closed to students like Kate Brockwell. Public school was the only option. Kate has an intellectual and a physical disability, but that's not putting the brakes on her learning here at Paul VI Catholic High School in Fairfax, Virginia. If you should fall for some reason that you <clears throat> Can tell people to help you out. It's one of only two Catholic high schools in the Arlington Diocese with a program for kids with disabilities. Oh, wow. Those students, 16 in total, take English, reading, math, and work training classes together. And then join the other students for gym, electives, lunch, and homeroom. 200 students serve as mentors and helpers. Parents with a student who has a special need might not be able to go to a Catholic school. It's not always an option. The cost for educating students um, with special needs is more than a typically developing student. Staff say Paul VI was the second Catholic high school in the country to integrate special needs students in 1998. Yeah, he's got Sarah Brown, a Paul VI grad, says her school inspired her career choice. She's now a teacher in the program. They just love so much and they have so much joy and so much happiness and they're they're so funny. And when Kate graduates high school in 2016? I'm hoping to do something with animals because I love animals. In Virginia, Jason Calvi, EWTN News Night.